Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys today as Bao did a random spur of the moment daily recap. It is June 26, 2019, and he is going to talk about the ticker symbol XSPA, float rotation, VWAP reclaims, and most importantly, teleport candles and what not to do and what to do. This is Trading Fish Academy 2, Episode 5. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. All right, so we're now recording June 26. Pretty much did an impromptu Q&A with the MIC guys. Uh, not gonna be around tomorrow, so I said screw it. Let me uh, get some questions and answers. This XSPA, man, this thing is killing everybody. Um, don't mind me if I eat, okay? I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. I'm training the stupid star. I shouldn't, I shouldn't even. To be honest, man, you see, I, I talked a lot about S XSPA today in the main chat because I want you guys not to fucking short this type of stock. Look at the way it teleports. It freaking teleports, guys. Uh, that's how you die. <laughs> Seriously, I, I almost, dude, I was... Stuck 10,000 shares when it teleported to 450. So let me show you, man. Fuck. It's very stupid. I came back from doing my workout. You see this shit? So I was scaling this line, 420, which happens to be here. Okay? I came back from my, my Instagram live and you saw where I came back. I came back at fucking FOMO. Because you know why. When I came back, it was under VWAP, dude. This red line is VWAP. Can everybody hear and see my video, by the way? Oh, you want to go daily recap? Let's go daily recap then. Okay, let's go daily recap. Let's go to daily recap. Okay, I'm going to move myself to daily recap. I'm sorry, man. All right, guys. I'm, I'm in the daily recap now. So I can hear you. Cool. Okay. So, so I want to explain to you all this crap, man. This is uh, right and wrong. This is definitely wrong. So I came back and I had straight up FOMO because I'm like, shit, dude, I missed all these other stocks today. Um, and then I saw that XSPA was, uh, someone said it was four bucks. Remember when I was doing my, my walk? And then it tanked down. So when I came back, I was like, fuck, is that $3? I'm like, geez, dude. So you, you get into this hindsight bullshit. Like, oh, man, coulda, shoulda, woulda, and piss you. I mean, I mean, I my day was, I was up like 600 or 1,000 bucks. I mean, I mean, I mean, I got to appreciate that kind of shit, right? I'm not doing hard work. You take what the market gives you. So I fucking broke my discipline, man. I broke, I, I broke my process. I, because I know that I'm traveling tomorrow, whatever the reason may be. I'm like, dude, I did not make enough money. And it's just a stupid, this is the dumbest crap ever, man. You have to get that out of your head. I did not make enough money. And that's how you freaking die and lose. Okay. And that's, that's why I posted that, that BPTH about the market maker fucking getting killed. Because I want everybody to, to have that ingrained in their head. I almost fucking lost a shitload of money today, dude. So I came back and this sucker was under VWAP. So this red line is VWAP, right? So VWAP is, is at $3.60. So it broke down under VWAP. It went, dude, VWAP was three, uh, 360. It went down to fucking $3, dude. 60 cents under VWAP. 60 fucking cents under VWAP. Can everybody hear me, by the way? 
if you need help on this, don't ask me to help. Ask someone else, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm too tired to ask stupid shit like this. I'm sorry. Um, I'm very tired, very hungry. Um, so it was 60 cents under VWAP. And so I was like, fuck, I had so much FOMO. Please go up, please go up. And the moment it went up, look what happened, guys. I shorted at the VWAP line. Nine out of 10 trades, this will work. Nine out of 10 trades, this will work. Be but <laughs> 10 out of 10 whenever I'm fucking in this shit, right? You know why? I'll tell you the trigger mechanism, okay? The trigger mechanism is this. This thing was 1.5 million volume. This overly rotated. Death line was, if I was looking at this, death line is at $3. Did not breach death line, dude. Even though, even though, VWAP was at 360. Death line was 320, three bucks. Because, okay, heavily rotated low voters are very easy to manipulate. Anybody can come in with like half a million dollars and just buy the fuck out of it. And so you have to be very careful when everything's, when it's still maintaining. But the thing is, this is tricky as hell, dude. So this is where I fucked up, guys. I was so horny, so desperate for a fucking trade that I shorted the VWAP, which is fine. But then it broke VWAP. That's when I needed to hard stop out. What did I do? I kept on fucking adding like a fucking idiot. So each one of these are a thousand shares, okay? So I had all the way up and I'm like, fuck. So I'm in, I'm in right now at like 10,000 shares at around $3 and around four bucks, $4 average. I mean, normally it'd be fucking good, except this shit te teleported to fucking 460, dude. It teleported to $4 and 60 cents. So I was fucked already. So I'm like, fuck, dude. Um, thank God when it resumed, it went down. And so I broke even on this fucking trade. If I didn't cover here, I would have made like 2000 bucks, but I just wanted to be out of the fucking trade with even a $2,000, $3,000 loss. I would have been fucking okay. I was like, okay, fucking fine. You know, that's not a big deal. I did not want to get fucking trapped. Because what's going to happen is this, dude. This is, if this thing had went to five bucks, I would have fucking added there. And now I would have been stuck 15,000, 20,000 shares. And whatever went to six bucks, I'm fucking out 30, 40 Gs, right? And I'm like, fuck, why the fuck did I even get into this shit? So these are the type of fucking shit that you should not even get into. Okay, so let me, let me repeat what's going to happen here. Low floaters are a different beast altogether. If this thing was a 20 million float, this thing would not be saved. It would, they, would, they don't have the fucking funds to move a stock like this. This is 1.5 million. And they probably accumulated the whole fucking, whoever is running this has accumulated most of the float. Okay, and so what's so the reason why these run so much is if someone holds most of the float, it's like a pair of easy shoes, They're ugly as fuck, just like the stock. This, this company's probably a piece of shit, just like Yeezy <laughs> shoes are a piece of shit. But if everybody, if there's a limited supply of Yeezys, people are fucking paying what Yeezys came out with $300, some people are paying $1,200 for these fucking shoes. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same exact concept, okay? Low float, limited inventory high demand and then the worst case is the shorts people are short and they're fucking upside down like me and so thank god i didn't panic because i looked at the chart i go okay five dollars five dollars so when i looked at this this is pretty much what saved me um remember what i said man i fucked up on this stock because i had fomo i did not research i didn't even look at the float on this stock i just assumed that this thing was like every other stock today Every other stock yesterday, and it ran down. And when they went, and I had the huge problem because everything freaking tanked. Let's take a look at this, man. Take a look at this. Take a look at CPAH. Hey, traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already. You have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media. You can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right. See you guys.